What's going on everybody? I thought I would talk about some of the, the things that I did wrong in the beginning of this tank that I wish I wouldn't have done. So I got this tank um, used as well as most of this rock here um, in the middle and <clears throat> I got pretty much all of this sand and it had a bunch of crushed coral in it. So I thought it was uh, a good idea to, to use what I received with the um, package deal. So I just set it up and put all the sand as well as all that crushed coral in there. But now, today, rethinking, look how thick, you know, a lot of this stuff is. I mean, it's, it's super thick. You know, it prevents flow. I don't think it looks nearly as nice. I should have just went with the sand and or um, sifted out a lot of those big chunks. And the crazy thing is, I went through and I took a net after the fact, probably, you know, about six to eight months ago. And I was scooping out a lot of those large chunks and trying to pick out a lot of those large chunks by hand. And I got a lot out. <laughs> But as you can see, there is still a lot in there. So one of my, my um, biggest regrets or mistakes that I think I made was just putting you know, that large crushed coal in there. I don't think it looks nearly as nice as the sand and it could be a lot nicer without it. So I wish I wouldn't have done that. Mistake number two, putting coral in places that you really um, aren't sure um, is the best place for them or you don't know a lot about that coral. So I know I've talked a lot about these mushrooms but I only had one or two in my 90 gallon tank and they never did anything. Um, I do love you know that red color it really kind of pops and it's it's a little bit different than you know other colors in my tank so I I left them in there and then I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden one day, the uh, stars aligned and they just started taking off. And as I talked about with these, they start covering your other corals. I mean, look, they're still on my Duncan, and they killed off three or four heads of my Duncan just because they got so big and just covered it up. So. Mistake two, placing coral in spots you don't know um, too much about. So another one, another big one, this cactus pavona here. This thing is super aggressive. Look at this, it's taking over this whole rock. It's killing that digi as well as this here, you can see it starting to grow up and it's killing it has large uh, sweeper tentacles that come out and it sweeps and just kills stuff I mean look it's growing right over that did you and I wish I would have done a little bit more research on that um, I have this pavona here too I don't think it's nearly as aggressive and it's not you know taking over the tank you know so being really careful, knowing what corals you're putting in there. And of course, a lot of this I had in my 90 gallon and I didn't know too much about it. Um, just kind of place it in there and I guess hope that it would grow because I liked the way it looked. And then now after the fact, it's not um, the ideal situation to be in with you know these corals. Mistake number two was thinking I could take all my rock work out of my 90 gallon, put it in my 180 exactly the same way. That was a big mistake. 
because it never works out that way. You can't, I could not get them in, in here the exact same way. So, um, I, some of this rock work, I really love the middle piece. It's got the little caves, you know, and it comes up large, but, um, it's not ideal. It's not what I wanted. I do, I do like it. You know, don't get me wrong. It looks awesome. You know, it's kind of growing on me, but you kind of want to play with your rock work before you, um, you know, continue on with putting the coral in there, getting this cycled and stuff like that before you get the fish and everything in there. You know, really um, play with that rock work so you know, you know that you're going to be happy with it for a long time. There are some changes that I would have made. So as far as, you know, those mistakes, you know, the large pieces of coral that I should have sifted out, uh, placing, you know, coral in there that's super invasive. Maybe I didn't do enough research or, you know, didn't isolate it like I did my green star polyps. Green star polyps will take over a whole tank. But when you isolate it on a single rock, it will, you know, it won't take over your tank. It will just kind of grow on the rock where you place it. So um, do some more research on your coral. Make sure you're not putting an invasive coral that's going to um, grow over everything and kill everything. I mean, I have some uh, really awesome, probably not going to get a very good shot of it. It's uh, a Grinch Monopora. It's awesome. But on the back side of this, I have an encrusted coral that is super aggressive and it has long reaching branches and it kills everything. And then the third and final was, you know, your rock work. Put it in there, get some water in there, you know, stare at it for a couple days and then, you know, check it out, you know, see if that's what you want to do. Maybe move a couple pieces around and you know, let it set there for a couple more days and then move a couple more pieces around. And I think by doing that, you will be a lot happier in the long run and the long term of your tank. Gives you more options and, um, you know, it'll be a lot more uh, successful um, with, you know, how, how it looks and, and, you know, exactly what you want out of it. So, don't get me wrong, I'm very happy with my tank. But there were some things that I would have changed or some, some mistakes that I made in the very beginning. Uh, this is only my second um, tank. I had a 90 gallon before that for about six months before I found this awesome deal on this 180 gallon. And I bought this and then transferred over everything when it was ready and it was cycled. So, um, you know, hope this helps. I appreciate every single one of you and stay tuned until the next video.